Hit the button. Hit the button. <laughs> First look gameplay. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. God, well, what, Xbox Stream is hey, not available. Hey, uh, Go ahead. Yeah. We're we're live. Uh, and, oh. and, holy shit, the chat's moving pretty quick, guys. Man, I uh, didn't put no makeup on. No, no makeup needed. Uh, that's why we don't use webcams. Um, so, hey, uh, guys, welcome to uh, a special little stream reaction thingy. Dash Let me fucking game Mario game Kart Double Dash popping up again. A stream reaction to the Series X Inside Xbox event. And uh, you know what? We've got all the information for you guys all of the uh, details and some extra special stuff that maybe some of you guys didn't see. Uh, shout out to, um, shout out to Replicant for becoming a member, by the way. So, uh, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about today, guys. Likes, dislikes. Uh, we do have Chris Grimmel, uh, Killzone developer, dropping by. He's going to give his take on some stuff. He's going to drop in eventually. And who knows who else. So, again, it won't be a super, super long show, but we do plan on at least uh, trying to have a little bit of fun, guys. Thanks for joining us. If you're here, hit that like button, share it out for us. Help us out. And uh, a little bit early, we catching the UK. We're catching the UK audience this time, Cold Eastwood. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Darsh can actually watch without laying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Darsh Schneider, good friend. That's yeah. creepy. That, that, that's creepy. Hey, so, hey, let me. I gotta say this because it's like breaking, super breaking news um, that nobody cares ooh. about. But the stream we just watched is now private, so you can't watch it. But they reposted the actual final video, which will have better bit rate um let me check one thing will it have uh, 60 it at, frames it's at, it's at 4k 60 Ooh. and it is at a like 25 percent like ratio right now <laughs> <laughs> so so the the like ratio of the live stream is really bad i'm talking neil Druckmann bad. yeah it was thirty five thousand up thirty three thousand down right before we hit live for this show for rdx um while I was uh, in there, it said it would become private, and then I went to the final render, and now it's at 2,000 up, 3,300 down. Ooh, boy. But you did say they re-uploaded it, but actual 4K. Yeah, which is FPS. super smart. They they dumped the stream, which is at 4K 30 with bitrate uh, constraints on a stream, and they put up like the actual render that they put in the stream, so it'll look better. It'll run at 60. Uh, plus, all the individual trailers are there at 4K60, uh, but there's a lot to talk mm. about regarding that. Mm. So we do have um, most of the games uh, on screen right now for you guys. I did just grab that from the capture card, so you should be seeing it all uh, at 1080p, 10 meg per second upload, basically. Um, and I got to say, this is a, a good-looking stream, but it blew my mind that they didn't choose to do it at maybe 1440 at you know 60 FPS. Uh, frame rate is the biggest the it's the biggest thing when it comes to these new systems and you didn't see any of that so keep that in mind that's why they did rip the stream down and they did put up a 4k 60 fps version uh which will look absolutely fantastic uh real quick before we really jump into everything we do got about a thousand people watching live guys thanks for what you do hit that like button share this out for us helps out a little bit we do appreciate it and uh to all those supporting uh like tony stark uh rdx he says 60 FPS standard confirmed by Aaron Greenberg. Yes, uh, he did confirm that in a recent tweet. That is absolutely true. Dead. Captain James says, uh, haters going to hate. Me, uh, yeah, I mean, haters are going to hate. But, you know, the event wasn't perfect. Uh, we're going to talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, as uh, we had talked about before. Expect kind of, you know, have your expectations in check. This isn't their big summer event. We had already said this yesterday. Uh, said it this morning on Twitter. So it's not damage control. It's just we knew what it was. And uh, when it comes down to it, we're going to get into all of the information. Uh, but, of course, we're going to introduce uh, Cold Eastwood. Thanks for uh, show showing up to this random stream for, uh, you know, the Inside Xbox Series X gameplay. Um, tell us more about that dislike right now. I mean, how you been, buddy? You been <laughs> right? What's going on? It's your boy, Cold Eastwood, coming to you live from my pajamas. No, it's funny. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I've been on RDX, like, still wearing pajama pants. This is you know, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning here in Washington State. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, this uh, interesting. Mike, super quick take. On. Yeah, at least this time. So, my quick take was a lot of cool looking games. I was expecting smaller games um, for this, but not enough gameplay. And we'll get into that. But that's just like the way I'd say it. Super now. trendy moneymaker, you fuck face. Hey. We told you this was not going to be the greatest event ever yesterday. Uh, Tuesday's RDX. Come on now. He says, where is the staggering power difference between the PS5? Right now, it's a seeming, uh, it's, a, it's a huge difference because we ain't seen no PS5, motherfucker. 
All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, even though this is some third party, we told you it's going to be a lot of double A stuff. We said it on RDX. Go back and watch. We had an idea of what this yep. would be. Uh, when it comes down to it, there was some pretty good looking stuff. Uh, I was surprised by a few titles, and we'll get into that. Um, we've also got another super chat from Jason in the uh, in the super chat. Obviously, he says after seeing Hellblade two, honestly expected most graphics to look like uh that dirt five looks worse than forza horizon on xbox one x i don't know about that guys come on now the dirt five oh, dirt keep in mind you saw that at, at half the frame rate too though i went back and looked at it at 60 it looks like um the crew trying to be forza horizon but <laughs> i and uh but i like the dirt series enough so yeah, I'll, I'll play this. Yeah, you're right. Going back and looking at the uh, the uploaded video, it's so much better, like we thought. Yeah. Um, the, the games look so much better. Mm. Yeah. Uh, again, so guys, right. uh, almost 1,300 people already watching this live. Hit that like button if you haven't. We're going to get into the the, uh, the games and all that stuff that, that kind of went down. Uh, inside Xbox, again, the like ratio and the live stream wasn't great. Uh, we did expect um, perhaps more actual gameplay from the perspective of gameplay, but <laughs> when think? it comes down to it, they did open with Greenberg and Matt Booty saying, hey, uh, the July event is 100% for our first-party games, and uh, that's where you'll see those big first-party titles. Uh, we've been talking about this in videos. Have we heard the June, the June one got pushed back to July, or at least that's their first-party showcase? Uh, they did start with a game called Bright Bright Memory, Memory. Infinite. Uh, that game looked pretty damn good. It reminded me, what was it? What were you talking about, uh, Colt Shadow Warrior and... Crap. Yeah, a lot like Shadow Warrior, a little bit of Bullet Storm, and like the guy said when we were watching live was uh, like Crisis. Oh yeah, that's what it <laughs> now, was. Now this is a, a game made by one person, and I actually somebody on Twitter told me about this game, and I ripped the trailer for it. It's only on Steam, and I used it to like kind of showcase what next generation could look like in a couple <clears> videos, <throat> like last a few weeks ago. And a lot of people are like, "What's that game?" And I said, "Oh, it's Bright Memory. It's only on Steam." And uh, I was so surprised to see that it's ready for consoles. That's super cool. Guys, and two, we got, I mean, again, we were not very happy with the showcase overall. We got to make that clear. But we're seeing a lot of people uh, like this trendy money motherfucker, whatever fucking name is. <laughs> it, it, it's one of those things where we never said, again, we said the opposite. This would be a lot of double A games. We literally said this days ago, for one. Secondly, you saw these titles at half the frame rate they will be presented at on Series X. Their new 4K 60 <laughs> FPS re-upload and, and you'll see those games on the PlayStation 5 at uh, lesser quality. That's yeah, just yeah. I mean, if be. there is equal development, right, and, and mm -hmm. all that stuff put into both, yeah, you should see a difference there. But when it comes down to it, um, we also think that games like Last of Us look amazing. You know, God of War, etc. We, we love the way those games look. We've been asking for more of those types of games. Oh, on Xbox, Ghost of Shita Shiitake Mushroom. So, again, we want to see more stuff like that as well. But at this event, we knew kind of what it would be. Uh, it was what it would be. I was surprised by the um, whatever the fuck it was. What, what was it called? The one we were just talking about, Colt? Bright Memory. Bright Memory. Uh, Zalker yeah. was kind of really surprised by it. He, he liked the way it looked a lot. What did you think about yeah. that, Zalker? That, that game looked pretty cool, man. I was actually like, oh, I th at first I thought it was Crisis. And I was just yeah. like, no. And then they just, you know, and then Colt knew exactly what it was because he's seen it before. He's played it before. Um, but I look, I look forward to that game. That game looks pretty cool. Looks a lot of fun. Um, but the, the the whole thing with this show, like, I get people are disappointed. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed in was not a, not a lot of Assassin's Creed gameplay. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm disappointed in, even because Ubisoft themselves are like gameplay reveal, and I'm just like, all right, cool. And I thought maybe a two to a half, three minute trailer of actual gameplay, and it was nothing. Um, so I kind of got annoyed with that, but to me, Xbox side, I I'm happy that they, like Aaron Greenberg came out and said, everything will be standard 60 frames per second. Uh, then they came out and brought Matt booty out saying, yeah, we, we heard you about our first party that's coming July. So they're obviously working still on stuff to show us. Um, but I'm glad they did that because it does show that they don't, I feel like they're, like I told you, I said this on RDX and I got a lot of DMS about this and it's true. I really do think it's a staring contest between Sony and them. I don't think they want to show anything. I think they want to wait until June to see what Sony's going to do. I think they're going to wait to show their consoles because they said there's going to be a inside Xbox basically every month, right? Well, they talked about what's July, but what's the June show, right? So the June show, I think, is going to be focused around the hardware, and then the July show is going to show us what we're going to be playing on that hardware. All right, so let's go ahead and cut the day. They're, they're trying to do that. 
let's cut the damage control off already. Um, <laughs> this show was called First Look Xbox Series X Gameplay. First Look Gameplay. Now, because it was called First Series X Gameplay, I expected way more gameplay than gameplay. they showed. Okay, so, I mean, if this was just a typical inside Xbox trailer cinematics, fine, I get it. But no, you have gameplay literally in the title of the video you even re-uploaded. So, I mean, if we're going to look at it, it was like a 50-50 <clears throat> split here. Some games did show some gameplay. Others didn't. Mm -hmm. There was games that just mm -hmm. showed nothing but a cinematic trailer. They showed it more like a like a launch trailer style, like kinda. like yeah. medium and the other one, and, the one with the and, like freaking scorn or whatever. Yeah, those. And two I'm were sorry. Yeah, exactly. And and with AC, uh, you know, everybody's looking forward to AC Valhalla, and that game. I'm sorry. It, sure, it was in game engine and all this stuff. You, you can throw that term around, which they always do. But I wanted to see gameplay i wanted to see actual gameplay in that game we got none of that in that game you, you wanted so, gameplay for my xbox series x gameplay showcase yeah and that's why they take an l here they definitely yep. take an l in this show because of this whole pre presentation of this being gameplay and it, it just simply wasn't and and we we can't sugarcoat it we can't why aren't they talking um, about some of like the games what? but but let me talk about something real quick some of the games did look really good like i i personally thought that that uh, game you guys were talking about that they showed first uh right memory with, with that gun bright memory uh That's memories uh, that memory game, game looked pretty about. good um scorn looks a bit weird we're gonna, hang on but, we're gonna we're gonna come to each of the games yeah of course yeah, yeah, but yeah, you but, know yeah i get what you're saying we all we all agree good. like you need good. the gameplay in a from a but you need the gameplay you in know a gameplay showcase dealer you need game like play. the first demo was a gameplay showcase but it did exactly. you know at a glorious 30 fps unfortunately right so you know it kind of took some of that luster away but expect those visuals at 60 FPS. That's, that's kind of the point. I mean, they're on there, but for people who are watching live, they were seeing it at 30. And why aren't they talking about what these things are going to do on, like, they're, they're hosting these games for these partners. And they're not going to talk about how they're going to run or what is going to be special about them on the new generation console. A few it's did. Brand new. A few did. We, a got, few we, did. Got, we got a few did. little notes we'll go over. Jericho says, um, basically, he would it would have made more sense to show the first party games uh at this first event and and this could have killed some hype and and i absolutely agree that yeah it would have definitely uh made more sense to show some of your big beautiful you know high budget but you're, you're talking about by far the most powerful console of all time in fact on the level of something like a 2080 2080 super absolutely insane to even think of um and definitely a, a crazy leap compared to anything ever before but you're going to start with the perception and the first introduction of that performance and the way those games look being more that of really mid-budget games for the most part and then the I, big big assassin's creed game that's coming out this year there's not any behind the character actual gameplay which is unfortunate mm -hmm. um and and I, we all have to agree we all want the best for the series x and and the, we want gaming to be do its best at, at all points really as a consumer but you have to sit there and ask yourself was that better than, you know, something like a Halo Infinite gameplay trailer or even, you know, if they would have just really let those third parties actually show you more gameplay, more in the vein of that uh, that first game they debuted today, which, you know, even then you needed the frame rate to go with it. That's one of the biggest advantages of the new systems is that frame rate, and you couldn't even see it over the stream. It was kind of underwhelming there, and, and I don't feel like uh, there's any reason to damage control that at all. You just got to be honest and call a spade a spade um and i go ahead um and i was gonna say i i like so i know a lot of people like horror games but man there was like four of them in here like three or four horror games that i don't really care to play horror games like i don't like One it's just not my kind of thing creepy so. as fuck and we'll get yeah, to some that. of them yeah they were like scorn was fucking creepy as uh, weird and then i get like the guy like dancing the vampire guy like it's cool but like i just don't care about those like deep like horror freaking psychological thriller like i don't care man like i know like I, a lot of people might get pissed at me for saying that but i want something different man like the the, the first game they showed the bright one or whatever where the gun and he's like killing people like, i just cannot even remember see. the name of that game even, you loved it so much yeah, yeah i know i don't even know the that name but, uh, 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 yeah uh, and then memory. the other one that's and the other one that's showing right memory. now on the stream with the uh like the third top-down shooter like that cyberpunk one like that oh, one that looked freaking good. awesome like i don't care like, i thought like, that one looked cool 
Like, I want something like that. Like, show us some, like, physics. Like, I want to we'll see some Ruiner. Physics. Have you finished Ruiner? Yeah, I played Ruiner on Game Pass. Yeah. Ruiner's, <laughs> Ruiner's really good. But this looks way better. Like, this looks, oh, like, just graphic. By the way, Assassin's Creed Valhalla's uh, final render. It's on YouTube's channel. It's, uh, or Xbox channel. It's, uh, where is it? It is 4K 30. It's 1 minute 31 seconds. And it has 2,000 thumbs up and 4,400 thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of even big, even big, even big uh, AC like channels are saying like you said gameplay reveal and you didn't like it's just nothing. Jeez. A yeah, squad, uh, a squad. Stuff. If you want to jump in, man, let me know. Um, I want to just say real quick though. I think Colt is really onto something though. I think micro. I think both companies are they're they're in a stare down right now, mm-hmm. and it's like who who blinks first. I I don't think Microsoft wants to show their first party games yet. I think they are waiting for Sony to kind of show it and. Microsoft is showing their first party games in July. I'm pretty mean, sure they, they, they showed a few Microsoft games today, didn't they? I'm pretty no. I'm pretty no. I'm, I'm pretty None? sure that um, <laughs> Sony's going to show None? their first party games before. No, July. this is all third party. Sure. Jesus, Fonz, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> yeah, bro, I didn't uh, say like, Yakuza I Eight with the Dragon. Two, ahead, I guess. D, yeah. What were you saying, D? <laughs> oh, I was saying that I, I think Sony's going to show their first party games before July. So. I yeah, think that gives uh, Microsoft an advantage and also gives them time to work on the game more so it's more more polished because these these games are not finalized yet. They're still you know, in, in you know, still processing these games, right? So <laughs> A squad, A squad real quick say, says best looking game of the show is made by one guy. He's talking about that damn opening game. Uh, he says memory. hope to see more sli- uh, parentheses better soon. I mean A squad keeping it real. And we I, say I, that as fans of the brand, mm-hmm. we have no reason to sit here and say, hey, that, that wasn't quite what it should have been. Uh, there's no reason to do that. We want it to be uh, better. And honestly, the fact that the frame rate was cut in half over a stream, and we know it's possible to see you know, 60 FPS over stream, that by itself took away half of the allure yeah. of this next generation monster of a console. I got to say, that, that part kind of confused me because... Like- I have the capability of streaming 4K 60, so surely they have the capability of doing that. I don't understand why they streamed in 30 frames per second. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't know, D Bats. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, they I think, obviously uploaded Valhalla at 30 frames per second too. So, hey, we gotta I give mean, a shout I, out. We gotta give a shout out to 2,000 plus people watching this live, guys. Appreciate you rocking out with us. Uh, we're just keeping it real. Uh, we don't think it was a fucking just. Oh my God, this is the end of the world type shit. But no, a no. few little fixes and some actual fucking gameplay would have gone a long way. We did get some gameplay from some other titles, but holy shit, man. Some of the biggest yeah. ones, we, we really didn't. Assassin's Creed gameplay would have been big. Uh, I think and over again, half hit that like button games, and share this out if you guys haven't. Thank you. I think, I think over half of the games showed gameplay, didn't they? I mean, I haven't gone back and counted, but well, more like than half. And some of those trailers were half cinematic, half gameplay. So when you do I, the math, let me get let me get Chris's let me get Chris's opinion on this. Chris Grimmel, thanks for joining us, buddy. We do appreciate it, man. Thanks for dropping in. And and what was kind of your overall thought on the showcase for Series X, knowing how much power is here, the staggering difference, right? And we didn't we didn't really get any titles to really demonstrate that, and and half the frame rate for the ones that might have. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Good to see you guys again. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm late. <laughs> You're good, brother. Um, so yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah I mean, it unfortunately, wasn't a great showing. Um, certainly for for me, I think obviously I was quite excited with uh, for Valhalla, like everyone was, and that was just a load of scripted yep. in engine stuff. There was just like no <laughs> gameplay. That's terrible. Um, I was kind mm. of expecting, um, you know five or six minutes of gameplay, you know. Um, like a gameplay demo. Actually, yeah, someone actually running around showed us some mechanics, what you're doing, a um, little bit of conversation around it. Uh, some of the in-engine stuff looked nice, you know, lots of particles and so on and so forth. But as you guys say, kind of streaming videos are um, you know, 30 frames a second. Um, yeah, slightly disappointing. But, I mean... There's been lots of stuff on Twitter over the past couple of days that it wasn't going to be a big, you know, triple A, you know, triple A big hitter um, of a session. But obviously, I don't think for a minute that first game was developed by one guy, by the way, um, <laughs> as nice as it looked. Um, not taking anything away from those guys. but um, You think it, there was it, more, it, more than one guy involved in that one? <laughs> <laughs> unless he's literally just been in a room working on that for like five years doing all the assets and everything himself no but in all seriousness i mean you know nice particle effects you know good weather effects mm-hmm. you know some, some nice that glorious elements. 30 fps 
<laughs> yes. Um, hey. But yeah, sadly not. You know, not a, a wow show, and that's obviously been too. For a first impression, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, first impression. Hey, now, now there are other perspectives, and we don't pretend to have them all here. Cloud uh, Practitioner, thank you so much. $50 Super Chase says, well, he says, what they showed today was trailerized gameplay. I like that, trailerized gameplay. Mm -hmm. He says, I expected nothing more. I expected nothing less. Uh, Xbox made the right decision to have this third-party showing first. Um, learn from the feedback. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was the right decision, buddy. I mean, I, we, I, it's okay to disagree, everybody in the chat, by the way. If you disagree with us or if you don't or whatever. It would have been fine. It would have been the right decision had they not called it first look Series X gameplay. It would have been the right decision. I mean, technically Call, speaking, though, it, it was. No, no but, but it, it could have been just first look Series X. That's it. You don't need to put gameplay in the title. You put gameplay there, you're going to get. Just now, now, hang on. All my, all my thing, ads to that. He says Xbox took an L today. He says, but two things I uh, I noticed that uh, that do keep hype alive. They're still hype, trust me. This is definitely still hype. He says uh, these games do appeal to Japanese audiences and uh, the message and the and the marketing, basically. Um, yeah, yeah. There were some there were some Japanese titles there as well. A squad. I want to hear from you, and then we'll jump to Zalker. But what was kind of your overall takeaway from it, buddy? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to be polite, but I think Xbox needs to learn what actual gameplay is. Oh shit! Uh, with with Assassin's Creed, I just wanted to, even if it was only like thirty seconds or seconds, I just wanted to see some actual, you know, behind the character in game play, seeing what it was actually. He's breaking up. You know, he's breaking. The, he is breaking up. Yeah. Get yeah. closer to your mic, buddy. Hello. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Are you better there, is squad. All right. <laughs> Hey, no, Xbox just, has got a little uh, cane hoop hoop cane around your neck trying to pull you off the mic. Oh, dude, yeah, it's, it's probably my kids trying to pull me off the mic. So you weren't you weren't super impressed, is what you're saying? No, I mean, like I said, the first game, I don't know, I I haven't seen a lot of other games and stuff that look like that. I thought it was Titanfall for a second, right at the right at the beginning, the way the gun and stuff looked. But I was just wanting to see some actual in game gameplay of Assassin's Creed. Me too. Mm -hmm. that's the that's i think and, that, and that's what i was trying to say is i think that's the biggest disappointment i think it's the assassin's creed because that was the one game that they hyped xbox hyped ubisoft hype everybody hyped every channel hyped. people were just like wait till next thursday so we could see it and i think people were expecting like a five to six minute gameplay demo of him like you know taking over a fort or just something you know what i mean like Something cool yeah, like than ending your it. Ass, like that's do what something. everybody. But like it wasn't that at all. It was it was a minute and twenty five seconds, a minute and thirty seconds of just nothing. And it wasn't even combat. It was him going in circles, throwing an axe at nothing. So it was just <laughs> like that to me is the biggest. I think if they showed at least a five to six minute gameplay thing, actual gameplay of Assassin's Creed, the show would have been received a lot better because everything else wasn't announced. Everything else is just gravy yeah. on top, right? A lot of people showed up for Assassin's Creed. And then throughout the whole show, they put up Assassin's Creed gameplay coming soon. Assassin's Creed gameplay coming next. P they knew what people came for, and they gave us a minute. So that is the biggest that wasn't really fucking gameplay. departure. That, that yeah. wasn't really gameplay, and that was the biggest problem the show had was the Assassin's Creed thing. That's it to me. If, it, Everything if, else, it, was like, there, if it was there, the show would have had a completely different perception or at least a, a big yep. boost. And I, I we got people out there wondering, why didn't they show it? What the fuck? Like... What's going on? And and that's a hundred percent because Ubisoft want to debut actual gameplay at their own fucking thing at some point. Why are people saying yeah. you're hyped for multiplat games, lol? Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't you be? It's a game, bro. Yes, so so these you weird, guys man. you weren't hyped for Red Dead. You weren't hyped for all this other shit that was coming out over the past several years. Like you didn't give a fuck. I guess about that nothing. guy plays that, that guy plays two games a year on the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, here's the thing it, like yeah, real, we, real we don't we just there. want yeah, games yeah. we don't just want power we want both we don't just want first party we don't just want third party we want both i feel like it's pretty easy to understand what a dumb gatekeeping comment anyway, <laughs> what a bright guy <laughs> spends 500 dollars on a console and plays two games i mean what did you play in 2019 you know you, you played days gone at the very first of the year and then you played death stranding for like you know i don't know how long Five in the seconds. summer and that was it like what? Uh, people are just weird. Hey, uh, well, real quick, I'm gonna throw it to Colt, but Wolf JRA says I got really excited when I saw Second Extinction gameplay, thinking it was a new Turok. It was actually kind of like uh, it, yeah. it was kind of like a Turok. What he says, also, damn, two thousand people here 
this show. Uh, yeah, we had 2300 last RDX on Tuesday as well. He says it's getting and will get bigger. Keep it up. Thank you so much, sir. I do appreciate it. The dinosaur killing game uh, was definitely a little interesting as well. Uh, nuisance, uh, by the way. He says if you uh, think these games look bad, I don't think it. I don't think they really look bad. Wait till you see no, look them running on a PS5. Oh my God! So he came back with a with a flamethrower. Okay, so Cold Eastwood. I mean, let's let's go ahead and talk about. We talked about the uh, the what was that called? God, how do I keep forgetting the damn game's name? They open Bright Memory Infinite. Bright memory. Okay, Bright Memory Just Infinite. Just remember Memory. You can't remember what the yeah, game's Yeah, can't called. remember the game. All right, cool. So <laughs> they also talked about, after Bright Memory, which actually did look good, Chris is convinced there's definitely more than one person on that team. Dirt 5, they did show, and we do have to talk about how that game did look really clean, even though it was only running at half the frame rate over the stream. We know it runs at double that frame rate. They did also confirm a 120 FPS mode for Dirt 5 okay. as well. Uh, we're racing fans. I mean, this looked a lot like Horizon to me. It looked, it looked like they were teasing a sequel to Horizon a little bit or something. Yeah, they. I was saying that they need to... They kind of made uh, Dirt 4 and Dirt 3 a little bit kind of sterile compared to 2. So they're pr bringing back like that festival feel, which is Horizon. But uh, it does kind of remind me of Crew versus Horizon. But I don't know. I hope it's a lot better. Codemasters makes cool racing games. They're just kind of missing something. Um, a little blind. That's the um, that's the old Evolution Studios guys, isn't it? So there's going to be a lot of uh, Drive Club, you know, ex Drive Club guys making that. Oh there's yeah. A mix of, um, but yeah, it's for me as a racing fan. I mean, it's hard to kind of pitch that against Horizons and what mm -hmm. playground we're going to do with the next game and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's. That seems to be, you know, the old Evo Studios' first game. Um, hey, so, uh, yeah. Sean Murray has a really good point, by the way. Shout out to him. Uh, he says, in my opinion, and he's right. We know for a fact it's not up to Xbox what these third-party developers bring. But he says, in my opinion, it was up to third-party uh, developers to show these uh, true gameplay, not Xbox. So That is up to, that's Ubisoft's fault for making a uh, in-engine <laughs> in-game uh, montage trailer instead of showing like more like behind the you know, actual gameplay camera perspective stuff, which is what people wanted to see after seeing a really high clip uh, CGI pre-rendered, you know, mm. movie style trailer. Yeah, it was, it was, um, I don't know. Jackal, he says, he says, how much of the gameplay was actually uh, dictated by the developers? I mean, that's what we just covered. Like um, it should be a hundred percent. They, they can show what they're working on and what they're doing uh, and how much is Xbox's decision? Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things Zero. where you guys are right. That's something to consider, and something that I wasn't really, even though I know it's it's that's how it works. I wasn't really sitting here thinking that first thing in my head, like, oh man, these develop like you know they brought what they wanted to bring. But also, Zalker brought up a good point. You know, they don't want to show you gameplay anymore because then you've got fifty people analyzing the damn sixteen month out <laughs> gameplay. And people picking it apart and ripping it apart. It's the same For reason puddles. they didn't want to show you Doom back in 2016. They didn't debut that gameplay publicly because they don't want Digital Founder running a, a beta trailer analyst on it, right? Yep. Chris, what yep. is your take on it? Uh, what's Where's the responsibility lie when these third-party developers are told, hey, do you want to bring your your game to our event we're doing in May? Like, wh where are the choices made? Have you seen any of that? I think it's, um, it, there's obviously, so for me, in terms of this kind of show, and was more, it was more kind of Xbox, you know, they had that big kind of montage of, uh, you know, kind of tens of 20, 30, 40 different um, external studios all working on the console. So it was a bit of a kind of show and tell, look how many people have got our, you know, kits and a, a build and stuff for it. I think, yeah, the, there's, there's a massive element that lies with the actual developers. So they need to turn around and be showcasing um, what the hardware is doing. And, and the biggest takeaway I got was the blooper guy, you know, was talking about what we, you know, we've spoken about in the past. So he's saying, you know, <clears throat> as we know, PS5 has got a, a magnificent SSD, but no one's taken into account, you know, the upgrade and the improvements of what Series X SSD over kind of old mechanical drives and things. Mm -hmm. And that guy was saying, you know, no load, uh, you know, lo no loads and screens. You know, the experience is um, is kind of clean and slick and continuous. You know, so he's talking about he, he talked about the kind of power of the hardware, so on and so forth. But 
I think it, it, there's always an element of the kind of platform holder will always kind of pull the strings slightly on what is kind of you know being fitted to you know 45 minutes or, or so on and so forth, whether whether it's Sony or or um, Xbox. But there's yeah, there was there was a kind of huge miss by Ubisoft, as you say, you know, in engine kind of uh, you know scripted uh, sections of a game. All they spoke about for a week was gameplay, um, and obviously these little snippets of you know there was lots of small print which says you know this is um, <laughs> you know, this is what kind of Series X is is kind of going to be type thing. So you wonder whether this game you know, runs at half just... the resolution when you're eating yeah. a sandwich, yeah, stuff like that. And oh, uh, you know, are the old kind of scripted demos from you know PC or other consoles. Um, and then you've got something like that. I mean, the thing which I was ex- excited about was Scorn because I've kind of been following that for a couple of years. I think it's an Can you tell us, like, game. what the hell is up with that damn game? A little, <laughs> I saw a little dribblings and a little, uh, a little, some freaky ass shit. I was very confused, sir. So it's, um, so if, if you look on YouTube, there's quite a few gameplay videos from kind of early concepts. So it's massive kind of HR, you know, HR Geiger feel. So you know, it's all the weapons. It's a first-person game. All the weapons in it are kind of um, organic. So instead of bullets, you kind of load and bone and teeth and things to fire. Oh. Um, it's super stylized, really nice. But then they just showed a load of kind of in-game cutscene or scripted element. Some freaky uh, nightmare you know, fuel. Yeah, instead of showing some of the <laughs> gameplay that's been around. Um, so it's yeah it. it it was kind of it was a disappointing, you know, showing for me uh, across the board. I think there was some nice stuff. Obviously, Yakuza Seven a nice surprise in terms of you know for launch mm-hmm. and things like that. So it's good to see that relationship. There was a lot of kind of game pass uh, game pass uh, logos stuck on stuff. So we can uh, you know, we presume that they're coming to Game Pass at launch, which again is showing the strength of Game Pass. But um, yeah, just. I would say it's it's a gameplay next gen gameplay show and when it's clearly not you can i can I, let, me, let me go in this for a second so xbox has posted if you want to see why people really fucking hated the show just look at everything so they posted all the games right individual videos at higher bit rate higher whatever a lot of them are at 88 percent like ratio some at 70 percent and then the two Assassin's creed videos they put out are at 29 percent like <laughs> because that's what people came to see yeah. Yeah, Assassin's Creed, massive, massive franchise, one of the biggest games coming out this year. When you hype up gameplay for one of the biggest games of the year that people have been waiting for, especially when we haven't had an Assassin's Creed in a year and a half, yeah, you better show fucking gameplay, Ubisoft. And I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm putting it on Xbox too. You know, it's their show, but it is on Ubisoft to provide them the assets to put the and gameplay not up. at 30 FPS. Ubisoft confirmed that it is 60 FPS on Series X already. Um, Robert, or uh, hang on one sec. Douglas Lowe, he does say Dirt 5 will look like Horizon, probably be the first one he plays. And again, they did confirm a 120 FPS mode for that, so that's at least something. Um, we've also got Me Soul. Okay, I'm not going to say that. He says, got to be kidding me. This misinformation campaign blaming Ubisoft is ridiculous, Salker. Microsoft said it was going to be a big gameplay. And Ubisoft, uh, you know what? They didn't. They didn't have the big gameplay, and they said it wasn't. Get your backs right, RDX. We oh already said God. that, fuck face, so you can go fuck yourself. Thanks for the $10. So, <laughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, D-Max, we, we all agree. We've all already talked about how this is going to be a lot of double A type stuff. We already talked about early in the show how Ubisoft didn't do the, uh, they didn't put it out there with it in terms of uh, what they were going to show, and, the, and they just didn't execute there well, in my opinion. So, um, I mean, Zach, your, your own point. When they said 29% for those Assassin's Creed trailer, the the gameplay is still at 30 yep. FPS. That's a problem to me. Yep. It's a huge problem. I I don't know. That was the biggest disappointment for me was that. Just yeah, well, Creed see, that's, that's the consensus, right? Most of us, that's the, our biggest disappointment in this show was the fact that there was no gameplay shown in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I mean, it's, it's obvious. That's the, that's the reason most people tuned in, really. I mean, they wanted to see that game. It's gameplay, and we didn't get any of it. We, I, I mean, all this in-game footage and stuff that they do, it's, it's all well and, and, and great for trailers and stuff, but when you have a show literally called first look series x gameplay 
you expect just that. It's just, it was crap. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I, and, I can't argue that point. And I like to see the thing is that like a lot of the games they showed, like, like I said before and earlier, like we also, I really thought they were going to show some ID at Xbox stuff, like super indie games, but they actually showed some good looking games. Like even that uh, call to the call to the sea that looked a little cartoony. I thought that game looked pretty cool. Like the, the walking around, I liked the environment. Did you notice the water oh, again and cold to, to the sea? Where like was the it, was, um, it no, where was, I mean, the it there? was kind of like, it was, Walking, it was kind of like looking around. Walking. They were walking. Yeah, and come they were on. There was no real and... gameplay there. If people are going to really sit there and say, well, that was gameplay, that was gameplay, you got to look around. Bullshit, man. I want to see some mechanics and stuff. I, that that doesn't c- count. That doesn't count at all. I'm sorry. But even just to show some in game gameplay is, I understand the mechanic parts, and they could always do that in a, a later, you know, deep dive, but like there was barely any in game play show. Like some of the games did, like Medium missed it because the trailers are all kind of mixed in together with the gameplay mm-hmm. medium did have some gameplay parts in it where you could actually see them in the world same with the uh the the, the vampire game i forget the name of it right now and the uh and the space game that's a the top down kind of shooter they showed like in gameplay but once again they mixed it all together with the trailers which i don't know i wasn't really a fan of that and if they were going to do that the the format that they did at the end after they showed the um trailers or, or the supposed gameplay then they should have had each developer group kind of break down their game and show a minute i don't know two minutes of gameplay for each of these games i think that would have been a better format i don't know mm. um yeah i mean colt i mean when it comes down to it we did see we saw some beautiful looking stuff today mm-hmm. uh but we also saw it at something that didn't need to happen 30 fps but that, that just didn't need to happen we also saw a lot of smaller titles like we had already told people in rdx that's what we were hearing a lot of double a stuff um and, and really frame rate can't stress that enough is the biggest elite for the next generation it really is physics and frame rate and 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 we didn't even get to see the frame rate and then zalker nailed it on the head man they re-uploaded all these trailers at 4k 60 at the right frame rates and what they'll actually look like even though it's over youtube and assassin's creed like ratio is at 20 something percent because that's why everyone's pissed off. That was really smart of Zachary to go look at that. So, uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, when are you getting uh, Yakuza like a dragon? When are you getting that game? <laughs> when am I getting it? This is a joke, Cole. Th- there's th- Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> when am I? When am I getting it? Are you confused? <laughs> look. Oh God! Like it was uh, just I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've been I've been thinking about playing through Yakuza. I I hear. 50 50 from uh friends and other people that i'll like it or that i won't like it um i, I wonder if we're gonna hear this thing launches on game pass early or maybe not i don't know hmm. it's kind of like and honestly this kind of like I, I know there's this bl- that not even talking about the xbox shows i'm talking about all the other shows like the ign show and then jeff Keeley's blowout in the summer or whatever the hell like all this stuff like makes me super worried that a lot of games, like a lot of third party developers might not be ready because of the, the, because of what's happening around the world. They might not be ready for this holiday. It gets me a little concerned about that. Like, I don't know what we're going to see. Like, you know, we've talked like about the hinted Batman game forever. Um, Dying light Two apparently is in development. Hell. Nope. Like, it's not actually, that was, that was debunked. Oh, what's it debunked? debunked? That Dude. article, that article was super freaking like it was everywhere. Um, but either way, but I just want to see, like, I hope in the summer we see a lot more, even on the PlayStation show. I want to see, I want to see good stuff. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I hope PlayStation has a terrible show. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. I want a good show because I'm going to be buying a play PS5. And so is everybody else on this panel. So, so I mean, you got yeah. a lot of people in the chat. Um, like, uh, uh, I, I honestly, we got a lot of people like New Age here, New Age Outlaw. He says, where are the 12 teraflops? Right. And I know he's trying to be a fuck boy, but you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, when they showed Hellblade at the Game Awards, that was so good looking that yep. it had people from Digital Foundry questioning if it's an actual real render uh, because he couldn't find LOD transitions, right? Kind of find out the 40 XIO boost in the box allows you to have that kind of crazy detail without seeing LOD pop, right? Um, you needed more showcases like Hellblade 2 to, to really show people this is what the box can do. And as a debut for gameplay for the most powerful system by far in 2020. Okay. You know, 
but it's, we got to understand. Second, that, Give me a second, button. boy. I'm not even done here, boy. I'm trying to say that's, that you need those graphical showcases, and if you're gonna show them off, then you're gonna. Uh, and it's a gameplay event, right? Then you're gonna have to show gameplay, and it's gonna have to look damn good. So, I, I mean, I agree, New Age. You got to have those stunners out there, and I get this is for third party, and they're doing their big thing in July, but I just don't exactly. agree with it. Yeah, it's it's not showing their first party, so it's not going to be their best foot forward. And a lot of these games that are third party, let's face it, they were made for this generation. So these are just basically enhanced games. And they're held back by the Ouya. Yeah, and, and, and shout out to the guy in chat. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but he's saying uh, the show was amazing if you're upgrading from the GameCube. Um, <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty funny. That's uh, fucked no, up. it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. But, you know, and and I'll, it's important for the chat not to take this shit too seriously, too. Like, so many people, they're, it's like, you, get, you know, don't live inside the damn plastic here. You know, we're like, we're just giving opinions. Some of you guys agree, yeah. some of you don't. We appreciate everybody rocking out with us either way. At uh, 2,500 plus watching live. We do appreciate it. Uh, and, again, um, when it comes down to it, we I guess we need to run through the list that they at least uh, debuted. So they did talk about Dirt 5. Scorn, Chris gave us a really good picture of how that game is. Uh, very intriguing to use teeth as actual ammunition. Uh, you also had the one that was called Chorus, or what was that one called, Cole? It was like the chorus. space kind of... So, yeah. yeah, Chorus. Yeah. That looked cool. Even though there wasn't really any gameplay of it, right? Which game is this? Did you talk about the one with the ship where they're like flying yeah. around in space? Yeah, yeah looked, I guess there was yeah, a little bit of gameplay. Good. That looked good. Yeah, there was gameplay. There was. What about Madden 21? Yeah, I, th I, think he, I think he landed that ship and just walked on the platform, Gee. and that was it. What about Madden 21, D-Batch? I mean, what do you uh, think trash. about that? Now, now, I don't know. <laughs> it looked like current gen to me. I didn't see anything that screamed next generation. Not even like the textures on on the players' faces. I don't know what they're doing that game. I, I I'm sad for NFL fans, for for football fans that they're just stuck with one game. I think because of that, these guys are just resting on their laurels. There's no innovation, and I was not impressed with that. That's when he popped up and said, nope. "It's more than about how the game looks. It's about how the game feels." So you think they're going to ramp up the physics or what? Not well, in what way? Like well, uh, collision will have some and more stuff realistic like that. Looking tackles, they'll probably advertise that. But game is pretty much polished. I, I I'd like the game to look a little bit different. Honestly, like they can do better. Yeah, more than the shinier <laughs> forehead. They, they did. Could. They did confirm you get a free patch. Duh, we knew that. Uh, you'll get free patches for all these games. Uh, Vampire Bloodlines Two it reminded me of We Happy Few mixed in with it Dishonored did. or something. Gosh, uh, it would look really terrible. Great. You know what? I, I when I was looking at it in the beginning, that the yeah, some of the yeah, it's it's it looked kind of indie ish. I ain't gonna lie. The animations and stuff look very indie. Yeah, it, it yeah. just uh, the, the dancing. Well, I mean, it was I just unnecessary. It is, I think it is an indie game, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it was just it was very unnecessary, man. That whole thing. Like, why even show that if uh, that's all it's gonna show? Where's you your know? game at, Fonz? Where, where's the game you've made? It, it's a <laughs> gameplay showcase. They showed a guy no. dancing in a living room. No, 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 no. They did show a bunch. They yeah. showed a decent amount of gameplay for that little vampire oh, bloodlines game. They, they showed mostly dancing around in a living room. I think room. you blinked too many times. You got, uh, you got dry eye so syndrome or something. Crap. Hey, they, they showed them crap. in the club and outside in the world walking around and stuff. They showed the them attacking, leaping yeah, down. Seconds. They showed them. Two seconds. Eh. It was. It... I don't know, chat. Dude, what do you, what do you guys dancing. think? Do you think there was a decent amount of gameplay there? Was, like, there? There was more dancing than gameplay. But what intrigued me once again is the ascent, that top-down shooter. I I love sci-fi shit, and honest to tell you, that game looked looked busy, honestly, and it looked sharp. And mm. then I saw they have co-op on it too. It looks like there's four-player co-op on it, so I'm all in for that one. And Zocker, you mentioned uh, Call of the Sea earlier. While not much Man. gameplay there aside from walking, I did think the art direction. You know, it was a beautiful game. I thought the water, I was looking at the water because a lot of times yeah, in current games, uh, you see in the waterfall that the animations are at half rate or or whatever. Uh, and it looked like everything was nice and fluid, even at 30 FPS. Uh, what was your kind of thought on Call of the Sea? Uh, I thought it looked pretty cool. I mean, and I get people are going to be like, ah, it's because he likes Sea of Thieves. And yeah, I do. So I don't give a fuck. Um, I thought it looked pretty. No, I don't care. Like, I thought it looked pretty cool. That game looks fun. It looks like, I think, did it say Game Pass for that? I can't remember. I think it did. Um, I, yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to be cool. I want to see what it's about. Um, I don't think it's going to be a massive game. I think it'll be, you know, it kind of reminded me of, of Zoo also, like that kind of thing. Like, and I really like that game, but just a way more high quality first person you know like just it looked cool man the art direction looked really nice so 
that game looks fun. I want to check that out. And I have to say for the show, um, like we said earlier, like this is up to the third party developers, what they want to show. Um, and just like last year's E3, where we were mad if Xbox comes July and doesn't show like Halo Infinite gameplay or any of that shit, guarantee you we will freaking criticize them like we did last year at E3. Yeah, of and course. We, we all had we strokes live on air last E3. And if, yeah, and if anybody thinks we damage control it, then you guys don't want us to show often enough to know. No. I mean, they're oh, saying we're oh, going to saying... in here right now. Ah, like, who, who cares? Yeah. Who These cares? guys are like, they shove both fingers in their ear holes and like, I'm going to go on the screen. <laughs> It's like, hey, did like, you like the show? We're like, mm, not really. And they're like, damage control. Hey, Owen, he says, I got my stimulus check. Oh, good for you, buddy. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, I want to I wanna ask Colt, and then we'll go to Chris, too, about yeah. the uh, the medium. That was the one where it looked like, you know, Chick was... Why are asking me about that game? You know, I have I'm I know you're into that freaky that. shit. I know she's having a demon baby. There Colt, like tell me about it. There in that in that pr- presentation. It's like, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, a couple of them, I was scared, and one of them's like I genuinely felt like uh, something bad was going to happen to me, and in, in not a good way. Mm. Gotta say this real quick. When Scorn was playing, my son walked out in the room. I was like, "Oh no!" He's like two years old, man. So I grabbed him and put him in the bedroom. He kept trying to come out and see it. Like that was pretty disturbing footage for us. Oh, stuffed him in the closet. What you want to talk about, son? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Chris, the medium, the one with the chick, looked like yep. she's having a, a some kind of devil baby. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't didn't care for that. What do you? It I mean, that's good. that's kind of like right good. up Chris's alley, though, right? I think. Well, I think. Sorry, Carl. I think. Um, yeah, as a bit of a, as a horror fan, I think those guys are the only ones who are kind of service and you know horror fans. You know, with I think they were responsible for Layers of Fear, Blair Witch, so on and so forth. Mm. So they probably got. A decent pedigree. I like the fact that they've, you know, it's, it's almost kind of like the uh, the predecessor to, you know, Silent Hill Two. I think he said was was one of their favorite games. So. Oh yeah, they're working uh, with the uh, Silent Hill uh, music yeah, guy, right? The guy behind the music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I think there's a, like underneath the the kind of non gameplay elements, there's a couple of like little exciting snippets for you know horror fans or you know if they kind of resurrect what Silent Hill 2 was, you know, in a in a next-gen game, then that could be awesome. They've done some really good stuff, and uh, as I say, some of the previous games. Um, but it's, yeah, it's... I think, if, like Fonz was saying, the you know, it's a load of third-party stuff. I think they were kind of putting a flag in the ground to say, look, we've got, you know, 20, 30, 40 third-party publishers on that kind of big graphic um, who are all kind of supporting the platform, so the the they're obviously stating that people are supporting you know, the console, the platform, so on and so forth. There was a little bit mm-hmm. of, you know, what's the hardware bringing to the table? Um, but it's absolutely all about that kind of July event yeah, because but... you know Sony will just go, bang, one hit. <laughs> this is the, these are the two reasons why you are going to go out and buy a PS5. It's going to be this <laughs> first-party game. It's going to be this first-party game. And everyone's going to forget uh-huh. that they've been silent, so on and so forth. And they're going to yeah. run out and they're going to buy that console. Demon it Baby, works, Demon though, Baby doesn't like this news, Chris. Well, what did you think about all that great gameplay we got in the medium? Um, I thought that great gameplay was not gameplay. So. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, Again. It's just, I mean, people are like, "What about engine? the CG?" They're like, "Yeah, uh, who was it?" Paul shout out to him. He says, well, "How do we know the CGI stuff wasn't really gameplay?" And it's like, "Well, does this look like how it would look when you're playing? You think the game's gonna look like like what I'm looking at right now? This thing coming out of this thing? I don't know what the fuck that is, but I really doubt the that pers- that's me the playing the game. View. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like." I, I I just it, gameplay is gameplay. You'll know when you're playing it. There'll be HUDs on yeah, the screen, ga- and, and you'll be controlling the. That. Yeah, gamers aren't that dumb. When the camera is close up on the person's face or circling around them, or you know, like you know the perspective when it's not gameplay. I mean, we knew. Um, I mean, you even know, like I remember when we were first watching Spider-Man trailers for the Spider-Man PS4 game. We knew which parts you weren't controlling and which parts you were controlling the game. Like we know what gameplay is, <laughs> and you can't say we're going to show a gameplay first look on Xbox Series X and nearly half of that event was cinematic view or cinematic trailer stuff. Mm. You know, it's like I saw this on the PS2, and... man. What are you talking about? Jeez. Hey, Bounty Boom. Uh he says we like to sh- we like to show that we dislike uh the show. There's no periods or commas in here, so I'm just going to do my best. Um all I have to say guys is we are seeing a show 
Uh, I'm not going to talk about the other guys, but yeah, at least yeah. we have at least we have Something. a discussion here, and uh, it could yep. be worse. We could not and have you a know, discussion. You might not even have a console to be shown yet. It could be that worse. So <laughs> it's just it's it's weird to me, right? And they're so quiet, and people are like all these people that are here today. Great chat going on and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there's a few people there that you know they're just here just to badmouth xbox it's like because they have nothing else better to do they're not playing anything on that other console and they're not even seeing anything about that other console so of course they're over here on xbox didn't sony say they were going to crouch down really 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 they really crouching really. down they're, real they're still low. crouching down they're still crouching down <laughs> they're still they crouching quite down left. that better be a hell of and a fatality finisher they're about to do holy shit Hey, uh, yeah, fumes. it's good to see them here, though. It's good to see everybody. Yeah, here. shout out to the fuck yep. boys in the chat. You ain't got shit else to do and nothing else to play. Hey, Fumes, he says, I would have never guessed Madden used smart delivery. I would have assumed, I mean, smart delivery is nothing special. It's like, hey, uh, it's an easy way to patch it for this console. It's like with the shit we have today with the Xbox One S and the X. Like, it's nothing really Maybe special. he means EA. He yeah, make, EA, you use it. EA, EA use it basically today. It just wasn't called smart delivery. And he says, uh, did Scorn just flash us? I don't know what the fuck Scorn just did. I'm scared. So, um, <laughs> shout out to you, buddy, for that one. Gross. And of course, we've got again uh, all that gameplay. <laughs> Jigsaw level, uh, Jigsaw thirteen. He says uh, there were only third party games for both consoles. Was disappointed there was little gameplay, but be happy games were shown for the next gen consoles, and that's a win. Technically, yeah, some games. You know, I was impressed here and there, but again, but, but these we're always like down when you could say, hey, you know, do this, this, and this, and it would have been a million times better. Um, you know, just, it, it sucks to be held back by so little, honestly. These games are also held back by, you know, this generation of consoles. These games are being shown. They, they, they were it's made for this to do with that. They're most of them are double they, A or smaller budget. Yeah, and but they're made, held and label they're made, run on the but, original but, Xbox one. Just stop. I understand. But th these games were, I think they're, they were being made for this generation regardless. And these are sort of just like, you know, enhancements and stuff for the series X mm -hmm. it's. It's not a big deal, man. This is not like at least show what you have one in 60 game. FPS. Val, Valhalla was the one game they could have redeemed the show with had they shown even, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds of gameplay. <laughs> Let me Real explain gameplay. something about 30 and 60 FPS on videos that are uploaded to YouTube. And I see this all the time. And even this and podcast always, is streamed at 60 FPS. I, I mean, I complain to dealer about this all the time. I really think there is a disconnect with the guy or the girl that is in charge of helping finish edit a production video and exports it on whatever uh, video platform they use to export their video production <laughs> where they just, they're like, I mean, I've seen it a million times. Like, why is this, why is this production video? We put together all of these things, all this stuff to push and market our game and it's at 30 FPS. And then the editing person's like, well, I don't know. It's just when I, when I export the video, that's what it does. <laughs> and I really think uh, we see it all the time in content creators on YouTube where they, they put, they spend hours putting together really cool stuff and then they render it out at, at 1080p 30 or 4k 30. And I, I don't like the I don't know trailer, right? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to say, I don't know what in the heck is wrong with Ubisoft knows their game is going to run at 60. They know it looks amazing, and they spend probably uh, 25 hours putting that little two-minute trailer together with like a team of 30 people pitching in and saying what needs to be in there, and then it all comes down to the guy going, file export, <laughs> 4K30. And and I don't. it's not Xbox's job to say, hey, what the crap? Where's the 60 frames version? But, I mean, why can't they step up and say, hey, can you do this again? I mean, I don't understand the disconnect. There's no reason why Valhalla should be shown at 30 FPS. Yeah, and we'll kind of come back and cap off on that. But Cloud uh, cloud, <laughs> cloud Practitioner, he says, the competition will not disappoint us with their ultra instant SSD and their ascended RDNA. Thank you very much. Has <laughs> anyone... Um... Uh, I, I might get killed on Twitter for this, but yeah. has anyone checked um, Push Square and now they've removed their articles now saying PS5 gameplay is going to be shown tomorrow? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, I bet uh, they haven't. I'll look for you, Chris. <laughs> so apparently, I mean, uh, hang on, Hassan uh, in the super chat says great panel as usual, but folks, 
Uh, Madden doesn't support smart delivery. Check Shinobi's last tweet. EA pulled the usual. I mean, all smart delivery what? means is it, it doesn't mean that they're going to, they already announced the patch is free. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's all smart all? delivery. I mean, Patrick Mahomes said it on the thing. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Mahomes said if you buy it on the Xbox One, you can play on yeah. the Xbox Series X. Like, he literally said that, didn't he? Yeah, you said yeah. it in the trailer. They pull, so. they pull Patrick Mahomes off. God damn it, Patrick. <laughs> Dude, you couldn't read that well, but shit. <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, yeah, Madden, I mean, it is what it is. Expect all these patches to be free. I mean, I'll stick by that. If it's not, then it's everybody's duty to rise up and be pissed off. That is not acceptable to be charged for better graphics. Uh, it's like going out and buying a 20 ATI and now you got to pay 20 bucks for the fucking 4K and the extra particles too. It's ridiculous. Damn. The patch the patch is the incentive for the hardware. The hardware is the incentive to buy and, and play your games there. I mean, I don't think that's the way Microsoft want to go. So let's, the medium, uh, again, freaky demon baby shit. I don't know what the hell's up with that. We've also got second ex, uh, extinction, which... Uh, somebody super chatted earlier and said they thought it was uh, Turok was coming back. It reminds us of like a vermin tie, but with dinosaurs, right, Colt? Yep. yep. And, and what about Yakuza like a dragon, Colt? Why, why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't look. Uh, it doesn't look like a new generation game at all. It looks like a. It doesn't even look like a last generation. But game. but what the same guys saying where are the teraflops they're probably PlayStation guys and they probably love Yakuza like a dragon but how could you love well, it you if it looks like that? Now I have to finish my sentence like it doesn't it doesn't look um like next level because that's the way Yakuza looks. There are games that have a certain look. And Yakuza definitely looks like most other Yakuza games. Uh, mm. so yeah, get get your uh your head wired together about what t- teraflops means. And what a the difference between designer, T-flops and art direction and art direction and art style and the way like some people push for for photorealism. Some people push for over the top, crazy graphics with extra. Everything's exaggerated. Some people but do something really simple and lame looking like Sea of Thieves. I'm just kidding, Zucker. The same people make a funny. Hey. Let's not forget <laughs> that these games are going to be on the PlayStation 5 as well. They're going to look the exact. Well, they're going to look worse, but they're. Mm-hmm. It, still going to be the same type of art style so let's not i'm going to get in there and be like where's the ssd power huh let's not, let's not confuse third party games with first party games come on we know we know what was going to be shown today at the end of the day uh their so element of po is L- just dumb loading games up L- element of po said that yeah we had talked about this a few times there are higher versions at 60 fps um quality trailers on their channel and all that stuff so if you guys want to check that out uh they're definitely there to check out um but I mean, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we kind of ranted on this over and over because it was kind of like, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be like gameplay, gameplay because Ashroth uh, tweeted something yesterday. Um, but we expected, I guess, more than like what looks like a cinematic, not even a launch trailer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's not very good. I, I got to bounce out, guys. I'm, I'm crashing here. I got to go to bed. I've been working all night, so all right, I'm, buddy. I'm, I'm taking off. But yeah, it was a great, great show and uh, well, not the show itself. <laughs> great, this complaining. One was great. great complaining. Great um, complaining. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? I mean, I'm glad that people just understand that, you know, even though we're an Xbox centric podcast, we keep it real on, on this stuff. And when things go south, we do talk about it. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Of course, yeah. Um, so, I mean, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm taking off. So later people, it's good to talk to you and everybody in chat. See you later. Yeah. Thanks for coming in Fonz and, and chat. Let us know what you thought about Valhalla, um, gameplay, quote unquote. It was actually pitched as gameplay, right? Zach, you said that over and over up next, the Sassel Creek Valhalla gameplay, right? Like, um, yep. it certainly was not really gameplay. Look like pieces of like trailers or uh, or pieces of pieces like cutscenes or. I, I only saw one one thing that I could say was definitely in the game was when I don't know he's like up in the rafters looking down at the people eating there or whatever. That's the only part that I could say. Okay, that was in the game. The rest of it just looked like a scripted trailer shit. Yeah, I mean, and and again, I can't stress that enough. We know that the games are gonna look gorgeous, right? We also know that they're all pretty much running at double the frame rate that you saw on the live stream. Um, and I hate that they just couldn't bring that frame rate to life on the live stream for some reason. Again, this podcast streams it at 60 FPS. Like, 
do what you got to do, right? I, I don't know why that wasn't the case. <laughs> the dealer's not sitting right next to the biggest Azure set of servers. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like, um, I feel like if we can stream it 60 FPS, and, and then they should definitely want to do that to demonstrate their new ri ridiculously powerful console. Uh, and not only did they not do that, but there was a lot of games that were not super technically impressive, like Doom Eternal. You could have shown that to me the, for the first time running on Xbox One X, and I would have been more impressed uh, than a lot of the stuff I saw today, or if not pretty much all of it. Um, and it is what it is, guys. Uh, we call it Real Deal Xbox Podcast for a reason. We've been doing this for years. Hopefully none of you were surprised. Uh, if you watched our last E3 showcase, um, kind of, stream you know geez that was that was really bad we, we were not happy but here's the good news is because we do prefer the platform we'll still say look this is there we told you days ago in rdx this is going to be double a primarily i told you this morning and last night no double a primarily hey, manage your expectations for a reason we knew all the games that were pretty much going to be here before the show and on top of that They've got another event in July where they're saying, look, guys, they even kind of preemptively damage controlled it. You want to see all of our biggest, best, big budget games, and even though you didn't even really see all the big AAAs that are coming to the console, even in this event, this is what's happened to be there. Well, we've got all those first party titles and more this July. And you're going to see a brand new debut of, you know, some of the new stuff they're working on and a lot more. But uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, I guess... This is an E3. This is like a little teaser. And their E3, technically, to them, is in July. Just like we've been saying on this channel for a while. We've been hearing that stuff is coming in July. So that's when it's happening. And we will definitely have to do a show then. And I guarantee you will not have the same exact tone that we have now. Even though our expectations were low, we were still not happy with this because of the Valhalla stuff wasn't gameplay. Really wasn't gameplay. There was very little gameplay here, and the stream is at half the frame rate. Uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, and, you know, so it's our job to just be honest. Give us, uh, give you our honest take. Uh, let us know your honest thoughts in the comments and in the chat, uh, because we're not the only ones out there talking about Xbox. Uh, we don't represent a, an entire community. That's not how we look at it. Um, we engage, and we, we're glad you guys are here to engage as well. Chris, I kind of want to give you a final word. Uh, anything you kind of want to cap off, things maybe you hope for in July. I guess we could go around and say, Hold you know, what, what we're hoping for in July. Uh, Hang on a second. Go ahead. King T King Tilopsium, did you did you not listen to what Dealer was just saying? He's saying, he said Dealer would defend Xbox if they showed 360 games running on the X. Like King what? King, what? King Tilop Tilopony. King, King Bitchface. Shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> hey, uh, when it comes down to it, we're, we're hoping for better. And those listening, hopefully uh, you hear what we're saying here. So again, um, in July, Chris, what are you kind of hoping to see? What do you want to see out of this monster of a console? So I think July needs to be the kind of big first party stuff. You know, what? why have Xbox bought these studios? What are they working on? You know, we need to see gameplay. We need to see... Um, the whole reason why the, the you know the guys have decided to make a a console as powerful as it is. Um, uh, uh, just to touch on some of the comments, um, none of this that we've seen today has got nothing to do with twelve teraflops. You know what the machine's capable of, so on and so forth. This is current gen stuff, as the guys were saying in the panel. You know, there's some enhanced uh, elements. There's some third party games where they want to use it as a platform to to start advertising what they're doing this has got nothing to do with the capabilities of the console like you know these things are going to be on ps5 as, as everyone's saying um and i think the kind of tapered mood on twitter of um you know aaron and xbox about this was going to be more of a kind of double a show and so on and so forth it, you know, it needs to lead to a massive big bang in july and it needs to be first party stuff we need to see fable uh, you know we need to see gameplay we need to see the reason why these studios have been purchased because as we said before it's exactly what sony will do sony will do one big bang event and go the these are the games these are the reasons why you're buying a ps5 and that's what you know Xbox you've worked for them for 14 years like i think ex i mean it's exactly what you're saying like they're going to show you eight minute gameplay demos from behind the character playing the damn game and that's what we want to see right 
Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it's and they've got a tried and tested method of kind of pushing what the hardware does, what the uh, studios develop. You know, Gorilla will come out fighting. You know, all the usuals will come out fighting. Um, and they'll show gameplay. They'll show some spectacular kind of you know cinema in game cinematic story driven then they'll move into gameplay you know seamlessly especially now they've got the ssd and the hardware and things like that and it's going to be jaw dropping stuff and it'll be the reason why you know we're all buying a ps5 on the panel and lots of other people will buy a ps5 but they know exactly how to pitch to gamers um i've got to say you know credit to microsoft and xbox because as someone said in the chat and you guys were saying you know we're talking about this they are co- consistently kind of delivering information on, you know, studios working on games, you know, the hardware. They're keeping, you know, the Series X at the forefront of people's thought processes. And I think they've handled the kind of pandemic era that we're in um, in a much better way in terms of getting that kind of information out there and keeping people excited. Um, it just wasn't <laughs> the kind of show that we you know, that we all thought it was going to be given what some of the people were saying, like Ubisoft and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gene, by the way, Gene Samuel Andre says, it's almost confirmed that Asobo joined Xbox Game Studios because their logo wasn't actually on that screen um, of studios supporting the Series X. Um, I don't know if that almost confirms it, but they have been a rumor for quite a while. The thing was uh, uh, that they had signed a new deal with Focus Home Interactive right after Plague's Tale. And maybe that contract got bought out, kind of like Obsidian, or who knows. So, I guess uh, I guess we'll see. Um, Colt, what do you what do you what do we need to see in July's event? What what do we need from the uh, the old Cold Eastwood? Uh, we need to see, like Krista, we need to see gameplay. We need to see all, almost all of the stuff that they are working on, even if it's just a logo. We also need to see what these games will do because of the Xbox Series X. They need to talk about frame rate. They need to talk about what, you know, particles and physics and ray tracing. They need to dive into that stuff and say, this is what's transformative because of all of this extra power that's in the Series X, because by then we may know what the PS5 is going to do for games. And um, they need to talk about it. And I'm kind of getting tired of them not talking about, like, how these games (laughs) will be different. Yeah, um, like, be specific, right? And that, and that's why I made my rant the other day in RDX uh, the, uh, that evening that I know that they're going to show a couple of big games each event and they're going to show a couple more a month later and then a couple more. And by the end of the year, we'll have seen the whole entire picture. But at this point, Xbox fans need to see most of it at once and just say, look, okay, this is what we have to look forward to instead of being strung along. Like, stringing along isn't working anymore. And it mm. never was working, ever, because so. they don't have they don't have anything to rest on. To be honest with you, right? This, this generation, the exclusives were were, were terrible. Yeah. Not it was terrible, but they were they were they weren't all of them were up to standards. Let's be honest. Uh, Colt, at the so I agree with you saying like this is what they need to show. Like this is what the console will give us. To me, I don't need them to talk about the physics. I think that's the June show. Once you have your hardware stuff, show a little example of what you're talking about, and that's it. In July, you don't need to fucking tell me. I need you to show me. I need to see, like, something going down. Like, yeah, you, you know, see that take, off your, take off your pants. Well, you uh, no, like, I'm just saying, like, when you see the gameplay, like, when you, you see the see gameplay, it. man, that's I what know, I want to see. Like, maybe maybe there was some ray tracing stuff. Do you want maybe it at 30 FPS, soccer? <laughs> Maybe do, you want, do you want your gameplay to be shown at 30 fps again would that be nice no no, no. what i'm saying like 60 but i'm saying like i like when they show fable i want to be like fuck i've never seen anything like that in my life and now i know why i'm getting a series x i don't need them to be like and this is why i will see it with my eyes i will but see everything in the game like, glorious somebody, 30 fps like what i'm like what i'm saying when people saw a god of war it was like you know when they saw that in 2016 people were just like the reason why everybody was like holy shit because we've never seen anything like that and that's 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 what they needed. That's what they need. And then when they saw Last of Us Two, you know that same thing. It was like, whoa, this is like crazy animations, crazy fit. like that's it's the developer. That's what they need mm-hmm. to do. Invest the money in it so we see it. You don't even got to say anything. The game speaks for itself. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I want to see. And that's all I. That's all they need to do in July. Just show like like when they put Halo Infinite on there. It's that's going to be the main one at the show. We all know that. 
when they put that up there, you better fucking make that game look insane. Like put some epic shit going down, something crazy going down. And that's what I want to see because everybody, I love Halo. Halo, you know, to be honest, is the biggest franchise at Xbox. You guys better show that shit out. If you do another thing, what you did with Gears 5 during E3, <laughs> I will literally go through the screen and roundhouse kick every single person. <laughs> Like, I don't want to, like, you better show Hang on, no, you're telling me if they say, hey, now time for some gameplay. Let's go onto the stage with some wrestlers. And then they cut away. Oh, <laughs> and then they do a cinematic trailer. I will flip my <sighs> shit. Shit. Uh, you know what? Hey, again, shout out to 2,500 people watching this live. Guys, hit the like button if you haven't. Got a lot of uh, trolls and stuff in the chat because the Sony guys are out today. But you know what? Welcome to the show, guys. We, we, we're fans of you, too. We, we appreciate it. So, Zachary, you you basically just told us what you need to see. D Badge, what do you need to see this July? What do you need? Um, party games, some some new titles, not just rehashes, some 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 new titles, and I want to see, I want to see gameplay, and I want to see graphics that make me say, "Oh shit, this is next generation. This is not possible on the current hardware. This is what." true next generation is they really need to convey that message with their july event and i think they can do it with halo and whatever games that they have there because they said they're going to show games for the initiative everyone's basically going to be showing their games there so that's the place to to, to put up or shut up and i think they're going to do it i i think xbox series x if it's going to be exploited for its power obviously it's going to be from the per- first party studios so it's 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 upon uh microsoft to uh showcase these games and Hopefully, it'll showcase their system at the best light. I think we really need to be blown away. I want to see ray tracing. I want to see 60 frames per second. I want to see new titles. I want. I don't want to see just rehashes on old titles. I want to see new spins on it. And I want to see options for, for gamers. Give me a 60 frames per second mode and 120 frames per second mode on, on the first-party games. I think that'd be fantastic. Yeah, and actual gameplay, someone said. <laughs> hey, guys, we want the best for xbox right we need them to be the most competitive they can be for not only our dollar but but the dollar of of everyone that supports their competitor right you want competition across the board uh and that's the only reason we have said what we've said gonna be honest um it is what it is i personally this july need five minute gameplay demos i need gameplay from behind the character what i'll see when i'm playing the damn game of some of the best most beautiful looking games i've ever seen at 60 frames per second, not 30 yeah. frames per second, not 20, not a rock solid PUBG 27 FPS. I'm talking about 60 <laughs> FPS, 16 milliseconds. I, I, You know what I'm saying? Give me that frame rate. That's the biggest reason a lot of people are buying the new system. The physics, all the extra fidelity, all that ray tracing, the load times, It's all. it all comes after. They better not show up with some days gone uh, frames. I'm we don't need no days frames, okay? We nope. need 60 FPS here, people. And that if you can't track. figure out how to stream something at 4K 60 FPS, stream it at 1440p. Do whatever yeah. you have to don't do. Change don't even, don't even stream HDMI it. Cord. Just upload it. Just upload it. Upload it. it. Fuck a stream. It does ah. nothing. So no, why, why, why not just upload it? I, I, I was thinking that the whole time. Okay, if, if, if you had a problem with the 30 frames per second, everything was fucking shot already. So just fucking upload it. I just show me what I'm getting from the system. And 30, 30 FPS, that'll make me not buy the system. And I already know that the 60's coming. So show us that. Doesn't make any sense. There's no excuse. And if there is, find a way around it. Stream it at a lower resolution. Nobody gives a fuck. So just show us show us. Can I say something frames. real quick? Though, yeah. I think it was really disappointing that it was 30 frames per second in these trailers. Especially when uh, we just got the tweet that the... Uh, native output for the xbox series x is going to be 60 frames per second and you go ahead and show a 30 frames per all second. the footage is on the channel though as soon as the stream ended after every trailer was shown live it was dropped at 4k 60 in the channel behind the I'm stream watching, and, I'm, and i'm watching them now like i've been watching them mm-hmm. throughout the show and it's 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 a different show it's really when you look day. at it like yeah. I, I was like the whole show like yeah it was mediocre at best you know if your stream can't keep up with 4k 60 then in your youtube settings or mixer or whatever you change the settings but for the people who have fast enough internet or wired into the wall or whatever let us run it at the highest fidelity while we're watching live that's a huge and and we already know as we've said the stream the they have released the gameplay on their channel at 4k 60 that's not my point stream it at 60 fps That was that was the that was the initial showing that everyone's gonna go back and watch the repeat of it. If you're gonna do it live one time, then do it do it right. Like when I'm watching the replay now, like bright memory infinite, 
I was already impressed with it. It looks way better watching it on the stream. Same with Scorn. Um, and and um, what's the other game? Uh, the Ascent looks amazing, and the Medium looks a lot better running on the 60 frames per second upload that they have. I don't understand why they didn't do it in the first place. Like, I don't understand it. They're such a big company. It's such a, I know I'm bitching about it, but it's such an oversight. It's one of the biggest like, draws to the new system, D. Like, show it off. Even I have the capability of streaming 4K60 to the masses. Like, come on. No <laughs> I mean, to the, the masses, people. people. <laughs> so again, hey, uh, you know, sorry what rain, uh, rainbows and sunshine and, and cookies and shit, but you know what? Um, we do have high hopes for July. Uh, expect Lockhart sometime. Again, all the shit got pushed back because of uh, all the bullshit that's been happening in the world. So uh, all that stuff will come uh, sooner than later. We are looking forward to these games. Uh, they're going to look insane. They're going to run at higher frame rates. We gave you all the information pretty much for everything that they've confirmed here. Gave our opinions. It is what it is. Thanks for rocking out with us, guys. Twenty Almost 2,600 people checked out today's show and uh, again a lot of people from the uk we're glad to finally do something live for you guys uh assassin lupa darge knight everybody in the chat show guns what's going on brother uh has a door what's going on buddy uh everybody in the chat that said hi and, and contributed or or supported the show hit the like button shared it out we do appreciate it guys more than you know and um it's just Thanks, a little lethal and all the mods lethal. for coming last minute notice and doing this you know and different mods, times yeah meet lethal Monster and awesome. lethal does a great job in the chat and crushing people yep. and uh yeah i'm i can be childish sometimes i shouldn't call people in the chat fuck face but i can't control myself it's my favorite word so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here guys again he's thank a fuck you face himself yeah yeah we're gonna get out of here and uh go eat some lunch i don't know it's kind of weird streaming this time of day and again thanks for everything you guys do uh you guys are awesome uh, let we're us know get your thoughts. Together. Shut the fuck up, Zalker. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get off here. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments <laughs> and in the chat, and uh, we will see you guys later. Later, everybody. Zalker's a fraud, and uh, uh, follow Chris Grimmel on Twitter as well. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Cheers, for, man. thanks for joining us, Chris. By the way, I gotta say that. Thanks for joining us and jumping in here, man. You're like one of the best guests ever. You got a lot of insight and and expertise, and I thought what you added was was actually really valuable because you hammering home. Uh, you know, how Sony are going to jump in here and show us two fucking games, and that's what they're going to do, and it's going to be enough. It's absolutely correct. So, again, man. Uh, oh, thanks for having me. Anytime. Nope. Anytime. Uh, and, of course, you guys know where to find the rest of them. But support everybody here, guys. We're out. Peace. Culture fraud. See you.